Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I'm here today doing a little craft with me. Um, as you know, in January, I really try and uh, get my craft room cleaned up and organized a bit. Um, well, the other day, I did my little bookshelf that has um, prepared journal covers on it. Um, I have... Oh gosh, I have the one, if you remember, the one that I did with the mosaic collage. I have that one. I have several others that um, are finished, but I have this pile of partially done or not finished at all journal covers and thought we would work on those today. And if we finish at the end, we'll just do some random crafting and, and go from there. But um I wanted to say hi and hugs first to Lorna, Laura, Sharon, and Shannon. Thank you so much for um, for watching and for being here and hanging out and crafting with me. I need to write down my time and we're off. Okay, so these um, different journal covers. I do have a playlist called journal covers because there's so many different kinds and so many different things you can do that um, I just, I made a, um, I made a playlist so that I could just refer you to one place whenever you might have a question about a journal. So, Okay, so we have this one. I made these little topper things with these frozen charlottes um, one day. <laughs> made those one day. Uh, and, oh, that goes that way. And I thought I'd put this on here, but there needs to be a few things. For one thing, it's cracking at the spine. And there is this faux leather, there's there is, um, there should be in my journal covers playlist, many, many things on that. So I think, um, I think I'm going to leave this because probably once I stitch in the signature, then I want to put lace over it. So I think I'm going to wait on that. The inside though, it would be nice to have that done. So let's see if we can kind of find a digital that might go well with this. Do I want to do that? You know, again, I'm going to wait on that until I know what digital kit's going in this. So we're just going to do covers. Let's just do the covers. Okie dokie. So first off, we just need to put down the lace and then we need to put down this topper. So this kind of I think I want it closer to this edge and I'm not going to glue too close to the spine because I'll put more lace on that. I'll maybe glue right about there. Um, but yeah, I thought if I got all these done, then I can add them to the, to the done bookshelf and they're actually done. Um, I did, I had, I had a, a pile of these and then it was all mixed in with ones that are ready to go and so it's like I just need to need to get these finished up so that they can be in the pile of ready to go too. Okay so I'm gonna go kind of over on that side. And this is not cut straight and I love that about it so that's that's kind of on purpose. <laughs> um, you know what I am going to grab though is I'm going to grab my box of book corners because I think like for instance this one see it's starting to it's got a little something I guess that was Mod Podge. But I think since these are paper, and I don't think it will get in the way of putting um, putting a digital in there. 
I don't think it will. So, I'm going to do that. I need to distress this a little bit. Yeah. It was distressed a little bit, but I must not have had much ink in my pad at the time. <laughs> Okay. So anyway, this will be a good stroke of business to have this done. And I thought it might be fun for you to kind of see some of the things I had in the works that probably we have worked on a bit together like these. I think these little um, toppers, if you Search Gail Augustinelli Frozen Charlotte. The making of these will come up. And, you know, just a reminder too, if you, if there's something that I've done that you are looking for, try searching my name and whatever the subject is. And really, it should come up. So, um, but this one particular one, Gail Augustinelli, Frozen Charlottes, I think. Now, let me grab one of these and just see what I think. One of these little corners. I think maybe I will. I need my needle nose pliers, but yeah, I think it's a good idea to have these on there. Just gives it a little extra strength. And this way I'll know, do I need to order more? And I think I probably do. So I put a little fabric tack on the part that's going to show on the outside. You guys have seen me do this before, but you know, there's always new people. New kids on the block. Okay. Yeah, and then my inside paper should be just fine. It shouldn't interfere with these or have these interfere with it. Should be just fine. So, I hope you're all having a good day. I've been just making videos. I've just been having so much fun. So, yep, back at it, hoping to avoid another break in the action, but we'll see how it goes. Um, there we go. And then on this side, I just want to be a little bit mindful of the lace and get the lace on the outside of the corner. Whoa. Okay, I guess we'll do this side. <laughs> so. Gosh, there's just so many things I want to be doing this this year that I'm it's like I just want to make videos all day every day just to get all my all my ideas going and Oh, I got that on there. Let me get that out of there. Just what I didn't want to do. There we go. Okay, where's the other one? Here it is. So, yeah, I might need to order some more of these. I love these Tim Holtz corners. They're just awesome. I think I might have some smaller ones somewhere. Probably in an area that I have yet to try and clean up and organize. <laughs> this would have been easier, BTW. <laughs> this would have been easier before putting on the topper, but, you know, it's okay. My lace is out. We're all good. Okay. All right. So that one is done until we figure out which um, digital we're gonna use. Then I'll line the inside 
and then put lace on the outside, but it's basically ready to go. So that's pretty fun. Look at that, that is a lot of Mod Podge buildup. Okay, there we go, one down. All right, so then we have another one of these, which this um, this is some ugly scrapbooking paper that I redid. Um, we'll do a Mixed Media Monday on that one of these days. Um, but I love how it turned out. I had enough to do a couple of tags, too. So I just kept that with the cover. And I was thinking this looked kind of cool on it. I think it's the dark in the digitals that I'm liking. But that's what I think I'm going to do there. Let's see. Do we want... Um, I think I would go... Let me just grab these out here. I think I would go with silver if I have four silver. I do. Yeah, that's going to make that a lot more finished too. Okay. Mostly I have copper left. I have I have four golds and four silvers. Yep, I definitely need to order some more. Let's see. Are the other ones I have in here? Yeah, I've got these kind which are nice too. Not for this one, though. I want the protection. And then, don't I have... Oh, yeah, I have these little ones. These are way more... I think I want the darker silver. Okay, I'm going to put those on before I put on the topper. Never say that I don't learn my lesson. <laughs> Sometimes it takes four or five times, but eventually I learn my lesson. So I haven't told you a whole lot in past videos because I've been just so excited to do the videos. Um, haven't talked too much about Christmas. We had an awesome time. We really did. Um, we were at my daughter's house in Bozeman and um, we went over the day before uh, Christmas Eve and then... Um, and then my son and his family came over Christmas Day, kind of after they'd done Christmas at, um, their house. Then they hit the road and came over. And so then we were together the rest of Christmas Day. And then the day after Christmas, as it turns out, we were going to come home. But as it turns out, there was a big old storm. And we ended up staying an extra day because it was just a really big storm. And then we drove back the uh, that next day um, kind of caravanning with my son and his family because they were coming here to Helena um, because my daughter-in-law's sister lives here. And so they were coming to spend some time with them, too. So that was nice. And... Um, yeah, the, and by waiting, it was great because the roads were cleared off and everything. And the thing was with the snowstorm, the visibility was like zip zero. You couldn't see the hand in front of your face. So we decided we didn't want to do that. Okay, make sure the writing is right side up. So this is our front. And I don't think I want anything in back of this because... I want to be able to see the fun cover underneath. I am going to re-ink this, though, because like I say that when I did it the last time, apparently I didn't have much ink in my ink pad. Um, yeah, so anyway, it was hilarious because, you know, how babies love playing with the boxes more than they do the toys in the boxes. Well... Of course, my, my granddaughter's got some wonderful gifts and everything. Well, the thing they ended up playing with the most and 
<laughs> playing with with the grown-ups were these little plastic one was a snowman one was a reindeer they were plastic things and the nose was like about this big around and there was a nerf ball that went in the nose and then you squeeze the body <laughs> and the ball pops out right well let me say the ball shoots out because <laughs> it was it was pretty intense it really it really did it really did do something um and so of course when my when my son and his family got there the girls uh, my daughter's daughters were just all giggly and everything. Let's get Uncle Mikey with the balls. Let's shoot him as he comes in the door. <laughs> so, so that happened. And then, um, and then Uncle Mikey, he's so much fun. He made up some games, you know, like you had to, had to catch it with one hand or um, catch you know, one and then the other or whatever it was. Um, so that was kind of the big, the big play of the couple of days was that. And, um, and we went for the grown ups on, let's see, Christmas night. I, I, when was that? I don't even remember. It must have been Christmas before dinner, I think. We went for a walk, and so that was lovely. They live kind of by a, a pond with some trails, and um, so we walked around that. Isn't that a fun cover? I really like that one. Look at the inside. It is is pretty paper. This was not. <laughs> okay, two down. Let's see what else we can get. What other trouble we can get into here? Let's see. Oh, this um, is fabric paper. If you search Gail Agostinelli fabric paper, you will find a, a tutorial on how to do this. And I just need to put corners on. So we can keep talking about Christmas while I put corners on. Um, I'm going to use the copper. I kind of would like to use the gold. But I have more copper, so I think I'll do copper. Um, so anyway, yeah, we went for a walk. That was really nice. Um, the night we got there, before my son's family was there, my um, our kids took us to this house that just does a ridiculous amount of decorating. <laughs> And has all those blow up thingies and it's just quite something and so it's out kind of it's out in the country outside of town um, but boy I'll tell you they did it upright they really really did so um, we did that that was fun um, and this was kind of fun I on on behalf of my two youngest granddaughters, I thought it was super fun. They, um, my daughter and son-in-law have uh, their garage. Above their garage is, they call it an ADU. It's an apartment, a one bedroom apartment. And um, over Christmas, the fella that lived there moved out and so one night, and so the two little girls, their plan is that they're going to go to MSU, which is in Bozeman, Montana State University. They're just, they're just in eighth grade, but they've got this all planned out. They're going to go to MSU and they're going to live in the ADU. And so after the guy moved out, they went upstairs and um, into the apartment, cleaned the whole thing. Like, I am talking, they cleaned <laughs> the ceiling fan even. You know, they really went for it. And they um, got that all done. And then they came running in. Would it be okay if we spent the night in our, in our apartment to be? <laughs> 
there. <laughs> and so their moms were like, sure, you can sleep out there. So then they hauled all their bedding and everything out there and everything they needed to have a comfortable night. And they just got themselves all set up for housekeeping. So, yeah, so um, it's just so funny. But they had a good time. Okay, I've got corners on that. And that and some inking, I think, on this. And really, it's got its focal point. Um, I don't know that there's a whole lot else that needs to be... Ooh, that inking really makes a difference. Just on this side, it won't be... The inside is fabric, so not necessary on the inside but um yeah so that was a fun thing for them and um we facetimed with my daughter in denver and um we just kind of exchanged pictures with my youngest daughter and yeah it was fun it was a good Christmas. Much, um, much appreciated after last year of not being able to see our kids and grandkids. So, and I know a lot of you were in that situation this year too. And I feel, I feel sad about that. So there's that one. It's just, it's very, very textured and but a really fun little cover okay that one's done now what's next in the pile okay so this is a tissue paper cover much like um the the other one that's kind of the faux leather it looks like i didn't fold this quite right i think we can fix that i think it will Maybe, maybe it's been folded that way a long time. Made this a, a while ago. Let's just get out the old uh, bone folder. And again, this may have lace on after the um, after it's stitched in, but I had this little topper. This is from Triple V Vintage. I'm pretty sure. It was, at least it was with the ones that I got from Triple V Vintage. And this one, it says, we and the world. And up here it says world. So I kind of was thinking, I might just pop that on there. Now the question becomes, do I want anything behind it? Um... Any lace or anything. You know what I'm kind of thinking. I've got a um I've got some Ada cloth. I was thinking about that behind it perhaps, but it's not right at hand where this is. Maybe some of this. Just, just to kind of give it one more layer. I think I might do that. Where is my scissors? Oh, they're right where they're supposed to be. <laughs> I'm just blind. Oh, goodness. Okay. I'm just going to give that a little snip snip. And I don't care if it's perfect. In fact, I might appreciate it not being perfect. Okay, yeah. I just kind of 
wanted something to bring it kind of bring the brightness back to neutral a little bit now this has a like a hem on it I'm gonna take that off and that will be a future tag topper that's what that will be okay so I think if I put that right there and then put this on and then I'll just have to see if I have you know um, a digital that will kind of go with that blue and stuff I think I have like a one that's kind of birds bottom sort of. I'm going to grab my spatula because this is going to be sticky. Okay. And then we'll put some glue on this. Oh, my husband's out sweeping. We got a little more snow today. Not much, just a skiffish. But how about like in California where they got, what, 17 feet or something of snow? My goodness. But it's going to help their drought, I think. So that's a happy thing. Okay. So then, I think I want corners on this one too. Yep, let's do the let's do the copper again. I'm down to two. My goodness. Maybe we'll have some that don't need corners. So let's see what else about Christmas. Oh, oh, the the other news about the <laughs> about the. ADU or the apartment that my daughter and son-in-law have is New Year's Eve. Miss Addie is having a party with her friends up there. So that'll be really fun. They had all sorts of games figured out and stuff. Not a huge, huge party, but just like her five of her best friends or something. So that'll be really fun. The The apartment is small. It wouldn't hold, you know, a party of 20. <laughs> You'd be stepping on each other. So, yeah, my daughter talks about when we're old and infirmed, living in their ADU. I don't think the two of us could coexist in there. It is too small. <laughs> We get along awesome because I have my space down here that I'm in and he has his main, the main area with the TV, with his virtual reality game, with the computer and, you know, his outside work and he does the cooking and stuff. So he has that floor. I have this floor. Maybe that's the secret to a happy marriage. <laughs> Half in your own space. I don't know. Oh, when one day we went to the mall, we did do that. The one day because it, actually we went to the mall on Christmas Eve, and that was because the girls wanted to get their mom something. And oh my gosh, you guys, we went into Eddie Bauer. 
And I was waiting in line and, and kind of waiting in line for quite some time. The lady in front of me, I don't know what the deal was, but I got up there and the clerk had tears in her eyes. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So anyway, um, she rang me up and stuff. And I said, I just want to thank you for being here on Christmas Eve. And her eyes welled up and she said, she said, um, I've had so many mean people today. Thank you for saying thank you to me. And I'm just like, honestly, you guys, what is wrong with people? Why can't we just be nice to one another? That one's done now too. I don't know. I was kind of blown away. I was like, seriously, this one I know is from Triple V Vintage. Little topper. And I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it's on the paper. I was hoping it was. I was going to put the paper behind it if it wasn't. <laughs> so I'm going to use that on this one. And I know I have videos on this one as well, guys. This one is collaged paper and then sewn and heavily mod podged and I'm going to put her right there but we need a little prep first first of all we're going to put on the last of our copper corners that's what we're going to do we're going to just use them we're not going to hoard them it's weird to have my space in my little bucket here empty empty of corners but, you know, there's this thing called Amazon. <laughs> you get things in two days. <laughs> oh. So I'll just go on Gail's favorite things, do a little search, and find me some Timmy corners, and we'll be set. Yeah, so anyway, I, I, that was, we, we actually, I bought Micah, uh, um, a new ski jacket, new warm coat. And so that was great. But yeah, this poor little thing. I mean, here she is on Christmas Eve working. And I think the lady in front of me was being unkind because um, it took forever. I was six feet back, so I couldn't hear what was going on or anything. But when, when I stepped up to the cash register, the little gal was all teary. Bless her heart. I don't know. I don't know. Don't know, don't know, don't know. But it made me very happy to make her smile. Yeah, my thumb's getting sore from pushing down these things. But look at this, guys. I'm going to have all these done. So then I just have to figure out this, the um, signatures. And then I just ha I can pick out, depending on whatever um, papers I use, I can pick out ephemera out of my ephemera box. And these are ready to go, which I have the... I have the retreat in um, January, and then she's having another one in February. So I thought, well, if I get these covers all done, I can just work on getting almost like a little journal kit put together, you know, with stuff I already have. Okay, and I think that's the way this goes. because otherwise this flower's upside down. Everything else isn't directional, but that. So now we're going to get this ready. I'm just going to distress the edges. I love the pink and the teal. You know it. Um, So anyway, um, the girls got their parents a wonderful 
it's not a snow globe it's like a little um, ceramic piece with a little train that goes and the elves move and the reindeer move and everything it's kind of like a music box and it has lights and everything they were quite tickled with their purchase so that was fun um yeah see we're just gonna put her right in the front like that and I love it that simple I mean because the topper's already done <laughs> so yeah triple v vintage go over and check out some of the toppers they they are great and if you've got your base for your cover they make a quick little focal point so I'm not gonna lie at a few down times on Christmas I did a little shopping so I'm sure there'll be things to share soon with Etsy shares because you know that's the thing if I'm not crafting then I end up buying <laughs> craft craft stuff okay oh I love that one too that's really nice okay so we've got five down is that what we have yeah five down this one to you um this one I love this doily and I was thinking it would just look really cool on that and then I could put these on there yep that's what I'm gonna do that's how this one's gonna go and then I will have used up all my corners how about that when I was having my shop I didn't think about getting Tim Holtz book corners but I should have it's good I'm doing this today too because the fabric tack tends to kind of mess up the nails and um, I need to redo anyway they're a mess they're just a mess peeps it was kind of funny though when we, I said to Addie Addie had kind of a turquoise nail polish on but she had the sparklies on her ring finger too I said, look, we're twinning. So, we had good food. We just made simple things, really. Um, for Christmas night, we had ham and twice-baked potatoes. And then the other nights we were there, let's see, we had tacos one night. We had shepherd's pie one night that was really good so and my daughter oh my gosh do you guys know about the charcuterie I think I'm saying it right who knows charcuterie boards it's a thing I didn't know it was a thing all I do is have my head stuck in journals I guess but yeah charcuterie boards big deal wooden boards Put them out with meat and cheese and fruit and so we had charcuterie boards my daughter is into them big time um and so we had that for lunches which it's great because it's very um healthy you know and my daughter just had so much fun getting them all put together I'm just looking to see what seems like the best the pattern goes every which way I've got a little something right there so I'm gonna go there um, but yeah it I was I didn't know I didn't know it was such a thing but it's a thing <laughs> know how far out to go with that it's gonna kind of I'll kind of guesstimate and hope that we can always do the edges afterward 
But yeah, so that's that was our lunches. And my son makes a mean breakfast scrambler. So that's what we had for breakfast. So yeah, we ate we ate really well. Okay, I'm gonna do this side and then I'm gonna come back and kind of make sure I got the edges pretty well. So a very Merry Christmas was had. And then Mike and I were glad to be home. And then we had the whole debacle with our airline tickets to Denver. So I ended up not going. And happily, my daughter and son-in-law were able to make other arrangements. So they were able to go to most of their trip. They didn't, they didn't stay to do the time with their friends, which was too bad. But they did go to my son-in-law's dad's birthday, which was the big part of it. So that was good. I felt happy that they were able to get it done. I felt so bad to cancel on them, but you know, what are you going to do? My husband had a doctor's appointment today, just, you know, a checkup thing. And his doctor said they were hoping to um, go skiing in Denver. And he said, you know, the way the airlines are right now, he said, I don't think we're going to go. <laughs> I said, yep. That's so there's that one all done, too. Yes. So how are we doing time wise? Pretty good. So I have this. I was going to show you. I don't know what I'm doing to put it together, but I thought we might give it a whirl. I got to close up my... Okay. So this is... I think they're still available on um, Vintage Polka Dot Shop, but they're these little um, plastic thingies. <laughs> And you put you put a pretty paper in it, and then you do it like a traveler's notebook with the is it the Midori style where you can take the pages in and out. And I've had them for a while, and I I'm not I'm gonna be honest, they t intimidate me. So I just really haven't known what to make of it. But you know what? I think I'm gonna try it here. I think we'll just, in our last few minutes, try this. So I think about there. And then about here. And then I gotta trim the corners. So, I don't know, I don't know. Let's see, Let's see how we do. I guess I need my big trimmer, don't I? Let's see how we do. This is very heavy, so that should be good. Couple of couple of fun strips of uh, scrap. Okay, so there's that. Then this is printed on both sides, I guess might need to yeah that's a good inside okay so I'm gonna take my corner rounder and do my half inch and hope that that's what it wants <laughs> I hope so I think I will also distress it before putting it in there no idea guys no idea this is a new experience for this kid. I re-inked my pad and it's so good. Sorry, my husband's coming back in and dropping his shoes up there if you heard that. Hope he's oh, he might be bringing in wood. We've been having fires in the fireplace the last couple nights because it's been like below zero here. Today it's 12 degrees. <laughs> 12 
12 degrees. Yeah, and snowing off and on. So, um, so anyway, I'm the fire girl. I'm the one who builds it. I build it. I tend it all night and all of that. So, yeah, it's kind of fun. Okay, so wish me luck. Too big it's too big <laughs> this is too big so how big does it want to be it wants to be about to here okay well we'll chop it nope big one I just I just want it to be easy and grab that one you know what I need to do is put my Deckle edge one down there because I never remember to use it. Okay. Because it's um it's sitting over over there. <laughs> so I don't remember to use it, so I really should bring it over. I think I have a bruise in my thumb from all those corners. Maybe that's not the best idea to do a bunch of them in a row. I don't know. Okay. Can't be rocket science, right? Oh, you know what it is? He's not dropping his shoes. He's dropping the logs on the deck. So they're making a big old noise. Okay, I'll try that again. Okay, we want it this way. Oh. Now, will it be too long the other way is the question. Yes, it is. It's going to be too long the other way. By just a skosh. Okay, it's time we can use this one. Maybe by that much. Okay. Nothing like doing this twice, but you know, I'm a just learning this. I don't know how it goes. And I'm not entirely sure how to do a Midori spine. I've never done it. Can you believe it? Never have. Always something new to learn now, right? I think this might be the time. Okay, so. Putting that one in. Get that over as far as it goes. And then this one. It's hard without wrinkling it. <laughs> no idea what I'm doing here, people. Get in there. <laughs> Don't know if this is the best advertisement, Emily, for your wonderful little cover things, but... Got it a little short, but there's a little extra room around. But see? <laughs> see what I did? Okay, so then I think you put like holes there and then string this stuff through. I kind of think I want two holes. Because it looks like it's a little more than an inch. Okay, so not to be too precise, but I think an inch is right there, and an inch down, inches right where. <laughs> Here's my fork. Oh, there it is. Make it a circle. Maybe that'll. And then 
an inch down from there is right here. Okay, but where do I want my, my actual dots? That one's, that one's maybe okay. I'm just going to eyeball it. And up from that, let's just go like this. Oh my gosh, you guys can't see my dot. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> it's going crunch, crunch, crunch out there where my husband is. Is that okay or should they be up higher? They should be up higher, I feel like. Okay, I'm just gonna, maybe not that low. I'm gonna put it right here. And there's my other one. I might have needed more than 20 minutes for this. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So then we need this. And punch the holes. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. So we'll see how this turns out. Could, could get ugly here. <laughs> She knows not what she's doing. Okay, so what color of thingamajiggy do we want? Eyelet. I think I have, I forget how to open this. Sorry, which with my watch has happens quite frequently. I've got a pink, not quite the right pink, the green. I have a nice blue in there. I wonder if I have four of them. There's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. Okay. <laughs> Coordination's not my strong suit these days. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's see. We'll see what we do, what we've got here. Okay, so then I'm going to smoosh these in. Okay. Whew, so far, so good. I'm kind of sweating. know you guys have who have done these before can tell me if I did this right or not maybe there's an easier way I don't know okay oh 
okay. That one needs smashing better. Been using my muscles today, haven't I? Okay, so this goes this way because it does have writing. Okay, we got that part done. Now we just have to put in the string. And then we'll just have to find papers for the guts. <laughs> and we're good to go. All right, so I don't even know. I've never worked with this either. But this kind of came with... Okay, that's not good. That's not... So, if I go down that one, come up this one, pull it through, and tie it, right? I think that's right. You want to tie it tight? Oh. This is not working well. Do I have other? This is like, it's like when the elastic in your underwear gives out. That's exactly what's happening. See how it's pulling and not, okay, so that's not working. Let's see what else we have here. I feel, oh, here it is. I felt like I had some here. Okay, it's brown, but I guess that's okay, right? Okay, so we'll try this. See if this, yeah, this is good. This is going in the garbage. Okay. be good okay Whoop. so I'm gonna cut it right there and then I'm gonna cut the other one the same length I'm not sure I where I got I think somebody sent me this but I'm sure you can like get it on Amazon too this I don't know what you would call it elastic thread or something maybe okay so then we just have to tie this and I'm thinking you probably tie it not so the not so that this is bending but it's about like that I think Could tie it on the outside and put a little charm on it or something. Okay, well, maybe that's supposed to be tighter than that. And if it is, I guess I can tighten it when I put pages in, right? So I'm going to have to come up with some pages for this now. I think I'd almost like um, scrapbooking paper on the outside to just give it a little of the signature. And there it is. There it is. My little book. I think that needs to be tighter. It's not that you can't adjust them, right? Jeez. Ah, if you're coordinated, you can adjust them. Ah, got it. There. Okay, so I kind of want to fold this right there and fold this right there. And then we've got our little spine and our little book. 
another another cover. Okay, let's recap. And so something I've never done before. That was fun. That was fun. Thank you, Emily, for offering these little plastic thingamajiggies. That's really cool. So we'll have to make that here one of these days. We have this one with the doily and the corners. Well, corners on all of them. <laughs> this one. Love that one. This one. And of course, these, once I figure out the papers, need to be lined on the inside. This one doesn't. This is the fabric paper. And our little frozen Charlotte. And another one. So there you go. Bunch of, bunch of covers made today. Thank you so much for crafting with me. Look at that, six covers. Yes, journals are coming, journals are coming. <laughs> Thanks so much everybody for crafting with me today. I hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye everyone.